Hi my friends, today we model this part. It has some interesting features as you will see. This is the drawing and uh, you see here this is the part number 12 from my collection of 100 parts. We start by creating this uh, plate on the bottom. 100 with 60, radius 10 and the thickness is 15. I close this uh, model and I want you to become professional. Do you want to <laughs> become professional? If yes, click here. And when you start FreeCAD again, you will see everything white without these uh, entities. This is the new presentation. Everything is white. Take care to have this uh, option active and also Blender here. Part design and Blender because we create now only parts. Let's start modeling. Empty documents and sketch. This is the plane and we use centered rectangle and rounded corners. This is new for us. And you see here two dimensions and uh, we don't use tab but enter to finish each selection. 100, enter, 60, enter, 10, enter. You see? I extend the position of dimensions to see them better. Okay, the thickness is 15. We apply pad tool and we rotate the wheel of the mouse to 15. Okay. We continue with this contour and uh, we use uh, dimensions but only half of it to apply mirror. You see dimensions 84 divided by 2, 40 divided by 2 or 20 without any expression, then uh, 155 to the center. New sketch, this plane, we apply section and we use this tool, create external geometry. You can consider it as a projection of the selected uh, entities like uh, this one in this sketch. To me, as uh, an old user of Inventor, consider that Projection is better than uh, create external geometry. That external geometry is projection in the current sketch. Then we draw polylines. We start from this point up on vertical, then we use 3M, M, M, M. You know this procedure. And now, once again, M. Why? Because I want to create this 
arc. Then only 3m, m, 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 to go here and back to close the contour. This line must be vertical. We apply dimensions. This is 20. This is 200. This distance is half of 40 of 84. 84 divided by 2. Dimensions in the drawing. And one degree of freedom is uh, missing. Let me see what is that missing. Oh, <laughs> the height of this. The other dimension in the drawing is this distance. You see if you click on a point you automatically have a dimension to the center point ever. This is 155 in the drawing. Good. Now we have a fully constrained sketch. Close and uh, pad. But uh, symmetric and not 10. I rotate the wheel of the mouse up to 14. OK. Now I select the last feature, this feature, to apply mirror using this uh, tool. This is the face for the mirror and uh, we apply transform body okay next is this feature you see 28 is the dimension double of 14 this cut of 18 and the distance of 32 from the center together with 20 Five from the center. We create a new sketch on this plane. Then I want it to be visible. We project this contour, this arc. Why? Because we apply section and we see this center to apply center arc this center arc is uh, this one I place on the same horizontal this point with this point Then I draw a line, horizontal line, I project again this tool, I apply trim, and I place two uh, new lines. This one and this one. The distance is 32 to the center. 32 Finish sketch, fully constrained. 
and we apply pad symmetrical with dimension of 28 okay now I use this plane for a new sketch I project or I select external geometry for this line only why because now I use a normal rectangle not center rectangle to draw this uh, rectangle I place this line coincident with this point we know that this is 20 and we place dimensions but firstly let me apply uh, symmetrical this point and this point about this axis are symmetrical then dimensions from this point to this line the dimension is 25 and this is 18 fully constrained sketch close and uh, pocket pocket all the way through the part okay now holes 15 is this and 10 are this four i select this face for a new sketch i project this arc and i have a center then i draw a simple circle without dimension close hole the dimension is 15 and through the part okay same for this i select this face for a new sketch i project all these four arcs to get the centers then I place circles with a random dimension no problem now we know this uh, kind of uh, procedure all of them are 10 and all of them are through all okay that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye